wrestling fans. Welcome to another action-packed episode of the Pure Pro Wrestling Power Half Hour. I am Mark Green alongside Matt Burns, and that is Grizzly House Jones. That's right, folks. We're starting things off today with a mean one-on-one -on -one matchup. Grizzly House Jones takes on Father Time. Well, Grizzly House Jones, the last time he was here at the Flint Masonic Temple, faced Movado one-on-one, -on -one, only to be hit with that Detroit DDT, and he took a devastating loss that really set him back on his quest for the Michigan State title. Since then, he has vowed revenge, and he wants everyone to pay close attention to what he does to Father Time tonight, and of course, he wants Movado to wash directly. That's right, you know... Grizzly House Jones and Father Time, these two bulls have been locking horns non-stop for years now in Pure Pro Wrestling. Right, there's no love loss between the two. It's been a bitter rivalry that never seems to end. But tonight we're going to find out if the score is settled as Father Time, the fan favorite here in Flint, Michigan, makes his way to the ring. That's right. Both of these men, neither one is really been able to truly one up the other. It always seems to go back and forth and back and forth. But if this were tennis, we'd be at like the 28th deuce by now. Yeah, it, it's, it's been an incredible rivalry that's you know, once again spanned the course of several years. I mean, it's been the time lock. It's been the bear hug. The time lock, then the bear hug some more. It's been back and forth. And, uh, you know, we've just enjoyed every moment of this, and you're going to enjoy this first matchup on the Power Half Hour. And, folks, make sure you check us out live. PPW Live, coming to a ring near you. Get your tickets now at ProWrestlingAtItsFinest.com. Folks, there's nothing like seeing PPW Live. You know what? Here's another thing. Tonight, later on, we have the fatal four-way finale of the Elite Eight. We're going to find out who will face Sebastian Rose or whoever the Michigan State Champion is at Retro Slam 5. Yeah, and I can't wait for that main event. There's nothing bigger than the Michigan State Heavyweight Championship, and these four competitors in your main event tonight will have an opportunity to face off against the champ. Will the reign of Rose end at Retro Slam 5? Well, we'll be finding out. What's, uh... What's Father Time doing here? Well, I'm not sure. He's got something in his hand. Oh, he's making fun of Grizzly and the uh, all the hair. Ah, yeah, man. Now he's getting a shave your back chat. I think he was trying to give Grizzly a, a present there. Maybe it was razors. Maybe it was hair remover cream. I don't know what he had in that bag. But we'll see if he's got enough in his bag tonight to defeat the master of the bear hunt. Man, these two, yeah, I just, I get excited. I get goosebumps whenever I see these two men in the ring because I know that is going to be hard-hitting, mean action between the two. You're, you're absolutely right. And, and let us not forget Father Time. I mean, this man, don't let the gray hair fool you. He is an anomaly of life. He is a survivor of three strokes. This man beat cancer. And he's the only legally blind professional wrestler in the world today. It's literally a miracle that this man is inside the squared circle, let alone winning matches right and left. I mean, it's incredible to watch him. He literally sees with his other senses. He can't, find, he can't focus on his opponent very well, so he listens. He feels. And, and, and somehow, some way, he's able to do the impossible night in and night out. You know the thing about Father Time, something else? He's strong. He's strong as a bull. He's some unbelievably would, strong. Some would call it the old man strength, but, you know, uh, from talking to some of the wrestlers, he's just a beast. I've seen him training at the Justice League. Uh, you know, him and his trainer, Xavier Justice, hit it hard uh, three, four days a week. I've watched this man pick up over 500 pounds on a deadlift. I've watched him squat over 500 pounds. I've even seen him pull a car in the parking lot of the Justice League. This man is incredible. Yeah, folks, and uh, just in case you're wondering, the Justice League School of Professional Wrestling is uh, what my partner here is talking about. 
And that is the number one school, the number one place to learn your trade. You want to be a professional wrestler, a manager, a referee, a valet, anything that has to do with pro wrestling, the Justice League School of Professional Wrestling can teach you what you need to know. And the proof is in the pudding. The two stars you're looking at in the squirt circle right now are both graduates of the Justice League, trained by Xavier Justice. These two men are top competitors. They're in great shape. I mean, Grizzly House Jones, look at the guy. He's a specimen of a man. He stands in at 6'4", almost 6'5", well over 300 pounds. He has got pure strength from top to bottom, and that's why his bear hug has become the most feared maneuver in pure pro wrestling today. Now, uh, if, if our fans wanted to learn more about the Justice League School of Professional Wrestling, where would they go? They would go to our website at prowrestlingatitsfinest.com, click on the training tab, and you'll find out everything from pricing to schedules and to past graduates. And right now, it's TikTok time as Father Time has the arm of Grizzly House Jones in firm control. Now, Jones trying to find a way out. He's trying to find an escape, but he's having difficulty doing so. Well, you know, and it may not seem like high impact right now because, you know, everyone thinks the slams are what does all the damage, but the reality of it is it's the joint manipulation. It's the, the, the work on the, on the various muscle groups that really does the most damage to these stars. It's hard to bear hug a man when you're getting your arm stretched and torn. I mean, look at this. This wrist lock is devastating. Folks, not everybody is going to get out of this, especially when a guy like Father Time. Uh, and look, now Father Time using that steel cable underneath that very, very thin padding there to just destroy the arm, to tear away at it. And now he's headbutting the shoulder, the arm socket. I mean, that's not going to feel good on the rotator cuff. Not at all. Grizzly House Jones, he's got to be real careful that he, he needs to find an escape to this soon or else that bear hug is in jeopardy. Oh, you're right. You're absolutely right. And you know, I like the strategy that Father Time is doing because he's doing two things right now. A, he's taking away the ability for Grizzly House Jones to hit that bear hug. And B, he's setting Grizzly up for the time lock. Of course, his signature full Nelson figure that many a man has tapped out to. Uh, including Grizzly House Jones. Right, and once again, going back and forth, Grizzly has made uh, Father Time tap out to that bear hug. In fact, uh -oh. he, at times he's made him pass out. Watch out. Wait a minute, he's wait a minute. Up. It looks like it could be old school. No, no, no. Grizzly Ooh. with a nice counter. Father Time tried to roll through and protect himself. But I but don't think he was able work. to. No. Oh. And now he's getting smashed right and left with giant boots from the Grizzly Bear from the Great White North. Uh, Grizzly's got to... He's... he's really protecting and really holding that arm. And I think Father Time did a lot of damage to him while he was using that wrist lock and, and those arm ringers and those arm wrenches and all that good stuff. You're absolutely right. Now he's using the ropes to his advantage again, choking the life out of Father Time. And folks, this matchup is brought to you by Stream Fairy Software Inc. where you can download the PPW mobile app for free at Google Play right now. It's also brought to you by... Oh, 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 wait a minute. Uh -oh. Father Time fight back. Father Time's fight back. He's got those big forearms. Barry and the bicep into Grizzly's face, but Grizzly quick to cut him off with a devastating club to the back. And that's a disadvantage for Father Time because he sees with all of his other senses. He doesn't see with his eyes. You're absolutely Me right. Meaning he, he moved back just a little bit too much, and Grizzly was able to take that advantage. And look at the choking on the ropes. Well, I want to go back and talk about that mean back. Bat club. I mean, that's like having a baseball bat clobber you across the shoulders. How do you get up from that? Oh, Father Time kicking out. He's still alive here at the Flint Masonic Temple on the Pure Pro Wrestling Power Half Hour. And Grizzly House Jones not happy with that two count. Now he's got that headlock cinched in, trying to find a way to wear Father Time down. Oh, floats through to another beautiful back. technical wrestling right there in firm control of his opponent. There's not a time that Grizzly is allowing Father Time to get out of his clutches. He's moving from one maneuver to the next. He's staying with a, a, a nice arsenal of strikes, followed by good holds just like this. A classic, a classic hold that's going to be torquing at the neck. Oh, and it doesn't help when 300 pounds crashes on your back either. Oh, Grizzly appealing to, that, to the fans here in Flint, Michigan but not in a way that uh, is there. Well, could he possibly have it? Have he having a little bit of fun in there? I mean, Grizzly's had a rough few months here in Pure Pro Wrestling. He's been battling Father Time. He's been battling the Mysterious Movado, and he's still fuming about that last loss to the Mysterious Movado. Tonight, he's trying to take out a little aggression, clearly at the expense of the immortal one, Father Time. Look at him just clubbing the back. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Father look, Time's getting mad. Look he's at getting Father mad. Time. I think he's had enough. 
He's had enough of them back hugs. Grizzly trying to head blood, but no, Father Time's shaking it off. Where is he getting it from? The genetic freak and anomaly of life, Father Time doing the impossible, fighting back, shrugging off those huge blows to the back. Grizzly's Grizzly frustrated. Goes, he's so frustrated. <laughs> he's got to be careful not to make a mistake. There's another shot, and another one. Time says no! Oh, he's got blocked! Block that punch! Oh! <laughs> burying that forearm into the jaw of Grizzly! Grizzly, Grizzly staggering back! And a third! He's got him in no corner! Uh-oh. He's got him right where he wants him. Yeah, he's he trying does. to find that arm, setting him up. Could it be? Wrenched Could it, it be? Is it time for some old school? It looks like it is because Father Time is ascending to that top turnbuckle. He's going to walk those ropes. How does a legally blind man walk the tightrope like this? Little old fly high in the sky, only here on the power half hour as he comes. Crash him down. down. There you go. Grizzly House Jones down. He's Fight. calling for it. Father Time is calling for it. He's calling for the time lock. Tick tock time lock time, folks. Oh. Nope, but Grizzly's blocked it. Grizzly trying to reverse. Shot Watson. to the face. Whips him into the ropes. Could be bear hug. There it is. He's got him in the bear hug. And this is the maneuver that has never been broken by his opponent's own man's strength. Folks, it's not looking good for Father Time here on the power half. Off. Wait, wait a minute. Is that is that the mysterious Movado on stage? Well, it looks like it is. And Grizzly, Grizzly sees the Movado and he... He throws Father Time down. I don't know if that's a smart move. Movado clearly trying to get underneath the skin here of Grizzly House Jones. Grizzly said at the beginning of this matchup, Movado, you better watch me. And it looks like Movado's come out to get a front row seat. That's exactly what he's doing is he's watching the outcome. Oh, oh he's no. got his back turned. Father Time's up. He's, he's got, got him in the time lock. He's got the time lock locked the in. The time lock's locked in. Grizzly being strung around like a rag doll. And that's it, yeah, Grizzly's giving that's up. That's it, Grizzly's giving up to that time lock, folks. If you've never felt a full Nelson, it hurts. It hurts a lot. Add in the raw strength of the Immortal One Father Time, and you've got a lethal combination. And Movado gets the assist tonight, and that's got to be uh, just getting uh, to, to Grizzly House Jones. He had that match well in hand, locked in the bear hug, and Movado cost him the match. I wonder what's going to happen there. You know, I, I see a rematch between those two men in the future. Well, hey, maybe it'll happen at Retro Slam. That would sure be a big one. Well, stay tuned. We've still got a lot more action for you. PPW Mobile App, provided by String Theory Software, Inc. Custom mobile application solutions. Easy-to-use software lets you reach your customers anywhere. Your business, your customers, your hands. Support Michigan business with Michigan-owned String Theory Software, Inc. Come check us out at StringTheorySoftwareInc.com. Gentlemen, thanks for continuing to join us here in the Pure Pro Wrestling Power Half Hour. What we're seeing right now is from last week, just in case you missed it. Zach Gowan able to defeat Grizzly House Jones in a qualifying match for the Fatal 4-Way. However, attacked by a masked man going after his knee, going after his leg, and... I mean, attack's not the word. It's a mugging. Look at this. I, I mean, there, this is worse than a, a Flint City beatdown. It really was. But the reason we're showing this is because Zach Gowan has been replaced in this fatal four-way by the Senator Bill Don John. I, I don't like it. Something's fishy here. Something doesn't sound right. The Senator Bill John uh, replacing... Uh, you know, Zach Gowan in the most prestigious tournament in the state of Michigan, you know, something doesn't seem right. Zach Gowan worked hard. He did the impossible. He defeated Grizzly House Jones in that first round, and, and, and he deserves to be in this four-way elimination match. He deserves to have a chance, just like anyone else in this match, for that Michigan State title. But yet, he gets attacked. 
you know, from, from, from the back, somebody came right out wearing a mask, dressed in black, you couldn't even distinguish who they were. We have no idea who that was. And, and, and you see as a result, Grizzly House Jones, uh, you know, that victory over him was in vain. Now, folks, we got four men, the Mad Dragon, Movado, A7s, and Bill Donjo. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Movado, is Movado eliminated? I guess this is now a triple threat match. Unbelievable, folks. That is, I, I, I don't even know, I'm speechless. <laughs> folks, Movado, in my eyes, maybe was the favorite, that gown that gowns out of the match, and, and somehow the Mad Dragon gets a roll-up on the 300-pounder, Mysterious Movado. You know, I, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. The Mad Dragon, probably one of the best professional wrestlers that we will we will ever see. It's He's true. smart. He's it's true. He gets it. He knows his opponent so and, well. And, and what I like about him is he takes advantage of every opportunity. And Movado, I think he was playing to the crowd a little bit. Dragon saw that opportunity. The bell rang real fast. All the other guys weren't sure of their plan of attack. And, and, and Dragon swooped in you know, like a creature of the night. Hit that roll up. I think he grabbed a little bit of tights there too. But hey, uh -oh. Movado's out of the match. And now A7's is going to get mugged. Yeah. by the Senator and the Mad Dragon. Yeah, it looked like uh, the Mad Dragon and the Senator made a little pact. They said, hey, you know what? Let's not hit each other. Let's get rid of A7s first and then go at it. Well, Ace Evans is no slouch. Normally you see him alongside his brother, Mo Evans, as a devastating tag team. But right now you're seeing him in, in, in singles competition, and he's holding his own. He won that nice first-round matchup against Nico, and now he's wrecking shop here in this four-way elimination match that quickly turned to a triple threat. Oh, Ace Evans looks like he wants to take Mad Dragon up. Oh, if he hits this, this could this could eliminate Dragon. Wait, wait, Dragon fight now. Oh, and there's, oh, and there's the center. That two-on-one, and you know this isn't fair, but that's the price you pay when you when you sign the bottom, the dotted line for a match like this, a four-way elimination match. Anything can happen anytime. You can be attacked by anybody. Packs can be made. Packs can be broken. And that double suplex may have just broke Ace Evans. Is that enough? One. Two, Ooh. Ooh. This main event of the 2013 Elite Eight is brought to you by Head Drop Production, String Theory Software Inc., and DNR Market of Flint. Folks, we're bringing you a doozy here on the Power Half Hour. The winner of this match, the winner of this elimination bout, will receive an opportunity to face Sebastian Rose at Retro Slam 5 for the Michigan State Heavyweight Championship. You have said a mouthful there. And it looks like Dragon and Bill John still working together, still finding a Oh, Bill Wait a John. Minute. Bill John trying Dragon's technique. Nope, nope. Dragon Smart kicks out and he can't believe it. He's upset. Yeah, Dragon's not happy with that. You know, I don't think anybody would be happy with getting a, a double cross. No, no, you, you don't want to get stabbed in the back in a matchup like this. And now Dragon looks like he's going to make a pay. Ooh, devastating kicks. Educated. What a headbutt. The match Dragon. Once again, you know, he. He learned his trade at the Justice League School of Professional Wrestling. He has taken what he learned. He's gone to so many other dojos across the world, through Japan, in Europe, and he has learned so much more in order to destroy his opponents in the ring methodically. He is clearly a cut above the rest. I mean, Mad Dragon, you know, that this guy one day is, is, is going to be one of the biggest stars ever in pro Ooh. wrestling. Oh, just stalled him with that butterfly suplex. You wouldn't think a guy that size has that kind of power. You know, uh, the Senator Bill John is not a small man. He's not a light man. And you know what? Speaking of the Senator, I'm still not thrilled about him being in this matchup. He was the host of the Elite Eight. He didn't even get invited to compete, and suddenly, as a, as, a, as a host of the lady, he's decided to put himself in this matchup to replace Zach Gowan, who was attacked by a coward, a masked coward, a man who didn't even show his face. Normally when you get attacked in the ring, you know, someone's going to do it face to face, but somebody jumped in from behind, and, and, and now Gowan's out of this match and the Senator's in. I, I, I just don't like it. No, I don't like it all. I agree with you 100% on that. Well, right now, Mad Dragon is clearly in control of this matchup, and you can see A7's manager, Eve of Destruction, she's not liking what she's seeing. She's used to seeing Ace and, 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 and uh, Ace's brother, Mo, just, just annihilate opponents inside the ring, uh, and this is a new territory for her watching Ace, you know, on his own without his brother. Cutter! Oh, wait a minute! A huge cutter out of nowhere! That could be it on the Dragon. Senator! Dragon's got the leg hook! Oh! Oh, Senator holding on! You know, and he's no slouch either. This is another 
graduate of the Justice League. We, you look at the ring right now, this is Justice League graduates left and right. Xavier Justice had a hand in training all these men, and they've all turned out to be fine competitors in the ring. They've all turned out to be the top competitors uh -oh. in pure pro wrestling. T-Bone Exploder. Ace Evans out of nowhere. Huge T-Bone. Like Two, three, Dragon. unbelievable! Dragons out. Dragons, Dragons eliminated. I thought he was a, a shoe in to win this match, and that T bone out of nowhere, exploder suplex, and, and, and Ace eliminated Dragon. And now we're down to two men. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this match isn't over, but we have to take another commercial break. Please stay tuned for the conclusion of this match. Each year, Pure Pro Wrestling stars volunteer hundreds of hours to communities all throughout the state of Michigan. PPW's mentoring programs focus on bully prevention and health and nutrition awareness. PPW has also raised thousands of dollars for several schools and nonprofit agencies all throughout the state. For more information on fundraising and PPW's free youth programs, visit us on the World Wide Web at www. Pro Wrestling at its finest.com. All right, folks, we are back to the Pure Pro Wrestling Power Half Hour, and the Senator Bill Don John is on top right now at Ace Evans. Well, you know, the Senator, I guess, is having a good night. He went from the host to one of the final competitors in this matchup, and he's got just as good a chance Ooh. as anybody to win this match. Ace hits a devastating boot there. Two, no, no, grabs the ropes. Senators and I wonder if, you know, Thunder Dan should have even counted that one. His shoulders look like they were already under the ropes, but, you know, this is the Elite Eight, so he's letting a little bit slide. Man, it's Thunder Dan. Th it's Thunder Dan Marley, our referee tonight in this big main event. Oh, jawbreaker. Wait, 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 wait. The good one. He hit the oh, good one. Oh, oh, man. Two, oh, and three. it's a landslide victory. Unbelievable. The Senator Bill Don John is... Well, I hate to even say it, but he's your 2013 Elite Eight winner. That means he's going to Retro Slam 5 to face Sebastian Rose this is for the awful. Michigan State Heavyweight Championship. This is a travesty. What a travesty. What a travesty. I mean, Mysterious Movado goes down in less than 10 seconds. Zach Gowan's not even in the match. Eva Destruction, she is just, you know, uh, got a bitter taste in her mouth. And the fans here at Grambling Academy, they are, they are livid. At the sight of what they're seeing, the Senator Bill Don John poised high above the top rope in victory. Wait, wait, wait a, a minute. minute. It's, uh, it's Zach, Zach Gowan. Bill John! Does this mask look familiar? Is restarted and Zach Gowan's back in the 2013 Elite Eight. 
Oh, the senator attacking Zach Gowan on his entrance to the ring. Well, Gowan got beat down early in the night and it was just discovered that the senator was behind the beating all along. It was part of his ploy, part, part of his plot, his plans to sneak his way into the 2013 Elite Eight and it nearly worked. He beat all three men in the ring, survived that four-way, thought he was the winner and now he's forced to wrestle a former WWE star and this star is not happy. No, Zach Gowan is in a foul mood and he just, oh! Ooh, face first into the mat. That flatliner nearly flatlined the Senator. And now Gowan going up. Huge missile drop kick. Beautiful form. Gowan is invigorated. He's fired up. He's out for revenge, folks. If he wins this match, he will be declared the 2013 Elite Eight Champion. Uh -oh. Gowan going for it all. Gowan's up top. I think we know what's coming with One legged one. man on the top rope. Moonsault. One of the One, most incredible two, maneuvers I've ever three. seen, and that's enough! Zach Gowan is your 2013 Elite Eight Champion, folks. He will go on to Flint, Michigan to Retro Slam 5, and he will square off against Sebastian Rose. Will the reign of Rose continue? You have to buy tickets now to Retro Slam 5 to find out coming on July 27th to the Flint Masonic Temple. Gowan holding that trophy, coveting that prize. What an unbelievable story here at the 2013 Elite Eight. Folks, if you want more ticket information, please hit up the website www.prowrestlingatitsfinest.com. There is your Elite Eight champion. He has joined quite a number of other great wrestlers here in Pure Pro Wrestling. And here come the fans to join him in the ring. Well, look how excited the fans are. Look how excited those kids are, folks. You have to come out to PPW Live. Don't miss Retro Slam 5, July 27th. Buy your tickets now online. And we'll see you next time at ringside.